This is News 3 Sports. A new season begins tonight, tipped off Missouri Valley Conference play. SIU at Indiana State, sports director Jason Hurst was on hand for the big game. Indiana State has won seven in a row, SIU on a two-game winning streak. Freshman Trent Brown getting his first career start, still no Aaron Cook, and Eric McGill has the flu. SIU gets the early 2-0 lead, strong take by Marcus Damask, Saluki's only lead of the game. Tyreek Key for three. Look at that 12-4 Sycamores up early. SIU goes inside to the big fella Barrett Benson. To get back in the game, he muscles his way for two. More Benson. Three points. Yep, the old-fashioned way he gets the and one. He'd score 10 of the Saluki's first 20 points. A costly turnover, and SIU is down nine. Benson and Damask scored 19 of the team's 28 first half points. But Indiana State proved too much. SIU tried to fight back Carrington Davis for two off the bench and then Ronnie Suggs for three. But the Salukis let this one get away 68-56. Let's send it on. Hey Kendra, welcome to Terre Haute, Indiana. Unfortunately for Southern Illinois, it is a disappointing trip. They fall in the opener 68-56 to Indiana State and the Sycamores, well, they had a hot shooting hand. They ended up finishing the game with a 52% from the field and then 46% from three-point range. Hey, the Slukies had a 2-0 lead, but after that, it was an uphill battle and Coach Mullins, after the game, gave credit to Indiana State. You know, I think our execution wasn't great. We made some poor decisions and give them credit for their ball pressure and taking away some things. You know, they had 17 points off turnovers. We're not going to win on the road uh, doing that. It's tough when you get down. I think we got down like 10 or something like that. It's fighting that uphill battle the whole game is just really tough to come back and it takes a lot of energy out of you and that we just never recovered from that. Kendra, it certainly is not the outcome that Southern Illinois was hoping for. Uh, they're going to have to put this loss behind them because they're back in action on Saturday. They're at home taking on Illinois State. That is a 4 o'clock start. Reporting from Terre Haute, Indiana, Jason Hurst, WSIL News 3 Sports. Awesome work, Jason. Let's switch.